John from JohnSpeak.com and Resistance Pro. I'm here with another behind the scenes. Mike Vinicor, photographer, jack of all trades, everything else. What, what else you got? Um, it, it pretty much covers it. I, I've been shooting photos here since day one and when I started the company and then I just help out anywhere else they need help, like production stuff, you know, uh, you know, you name it. How did, how did you get involved with our pro? I, um, it's kind of a weird story. I used to be in my previous life, which was not so long ago, like the last decade, I was a video game designer. And I was a video game designer, and, I, and 10 years ago I worked at a WrestleMania game for the Xbox. And while I was doing that, we used some WWE guys for a mocap, and uh, one of them was Mike Bucci. So um, we stayed friends after we were done the game, so you know, we've been friends for about 10 years. And then when uh, he was in town, uh, the year before they started, the summer before they were starting our pro, he hooked me up with the Barons and uh, he told him, hey, if you need a photographer, Mike's an awesome great content photographer. And I know him because we did a video game together on wrestling. So. Mike's a great guy. Yeah. We, we love you, Bruce, if you're watching. Yeah, come back. It's been too long. Come back. We, need, we want you here. So, uh, how did you get involved in the WWE video game? That's right. I am. Uh, it was just a thing that the studio I worked for. Well, after our first game, THQ had the WWE license at the time, and they approached us, our studio, about taking over the, the, the uh, their Xbox title because the studio that they were doing it before they were fired or something. I can't remember. But it was like they approached us and asked us if we wanted to do it. We, got, we ended up getting a deal, and I was the only one at the company that really knew anything about wrestling. So. You're a good wrestling fan. Oh yeah, I grew up watching it. Like the minute we got cable, I was like, I was in seventh grade, was like probably 1981, and I, you know, the minute I saw my first wrestling match, I became a fan for life. Who were you guys? It was. Uh, I remember watching. That's when they still had territory. So I saw the WWF stuff when that started coming on. But then there was like, you know, NWA, and there was like some of the Texas Federation, the World Class Championship WWF. Wrestling. That, that was probably my all-time favorite was the World Class stuff. So but I remember watching Bob Backlund have his manager throw in the towel, lose the title to the Iron Sheik. And then, like a couple weeks later, I saw on TV the match with Hulk Hogan winning, and then you know, it just skyrocketed from there. No, it, it's our pro. You're the photographer, so are you the guy that walks on the ring to get uh, action shots during matches? What, what are you doing? Yeah, yeah, I take all the action, all the in ring photography, so all the action shots. You always see me at my ringside. I get yelled at by kids all the time because I'm blocking their view. So it's uh, it's tough. It's, it's no no longer. Yeah, yeah, it's like yeah, it's like. It's like, you know, I'm like the bad guy photographer of kids because I'm always in their way. It could be a good gimmick for you. It could be, yeah. Photographer. Well, what are your impressions of our pros? I, I love it. It's like, uh, I, didn't, I didn't know any of these people going in. I, I was only got the job because of Mike Bucci. He, he, just on his word, they just hired me from that. Another plug for Mike Bucci. Yeah, so thanks, Mike, because it, you may have changed my life for the better. But um, they made me feel welcome from day one, and it really felt like a family more than a company. And um, you know everybody here is really honest. The people they're good people. I like. I look forward to hanging out with these people every month. It really is the most fun day of the month for me. Like, oh, I'm yeah, to work. I agree with you on that. I go through withdrawal yeah. if we have a month off. I start to get bummed out. December's really tough. Yeah, right? December, and then I think like usually in around August or something. Yeah. Sometimes we don't do one that month, and it's just then I'm just like, man, it feels like forever between those shows. Well, that's for now. Yeah, eventually they're gonna start doing. And, and you know, we know how wrestling is. Things can happen. Yeah. You're you're a photographer. You never know. You might get involved in the storyline at some point. I would be all for it. Any match possibility? Is there anybody here you'd like to wrestle? <laughs> I can't wrestle, honestly, to be honest. I'm like, well, I'm, old, yeah, hard. I'm old and Matt Man Pondo. He wants to wrestle Matt Man Pondo. He's always looking at me funny, giving me the evil eye. So That's just that. Matt Man Pondo is everyone evil eye. Yeah, that's Stay true. away from those stop signs. Yeah. Now, did you do anything else uh, aside from our pros? Is there anything that... Do you have a day job? Yeah, I work. I still work in the video game business in some capacity. Right now, I'm doing tech support for an arcade game company, and then I also a concert photographer. So I go to you know I, shoot, I photograph rock concerts too. You got the life, man. It's pretty fun. The rock concert photography is what led me to. That's what got me into photography. Which between that and my video game background, it's kind of how I ended up in wrestling. So. It was weird how all my interests kind of intertwined and became like ways to make a living. Like my hobbies basically that's, finance that's, themselves. That's the fun part. Yeah, what, it really what, is. What concerts have you done? Um, last night I just shot Skinny Puppy. So I've done, uh, you know, I do like little shows all the way up to like, you know, like I shot Slayer on there here a couple months ago. And then like I'll shoot some of those outdoor festivals too. So it just depends on, I just, I have, I have the luxury of just, you know, picking and choosing what I want to do. 
So it's like if it interests me, then I'll put in to get passes to do it. You get the life, man. It's pretty fun. You need an assistant. Yeah, sadly, I don't. You know, I, there's no way to, to, that I that I don't really need anybody to uh, I'm more carry my gear. But and that. some people are stingy with the passes, so it's usually I, I can't even get two tickets to some of these shows. I hear you. Comes through, yeah. Now, for the fans, if you're out there that wants to find out more information about Mike, um, you can find me on my website. It's called the Punk Vault, and it's punkvinyl.com or punkvault.com. Either one will end up at the same place. I'm on Twitter, Facebook, and Twitter. I'm the Punk Vault. So I'm pretty easy to find. And what is Punk Vault? What it was, uh, that's my music site. It's basically like an online music magazine. You know, I, I, I review and photograph concerts. People send me records to review, and I review the records, and I write features about bands. And about our pro. And about our pro, and also for uh, uh, Pro Wrestling Blitz, I usually do their shows too. I've been on Punk Vault many times. I love it. Check this guy out, Mike Vinicor. Thank you very much for your time. All right, thank you. Appreciate it.